Hey, Walter Sorrells back with more tips for the knife maker. Today, keep cool. So recently a viewer sent me a, a piece of equipment uh, sort of as a thanks for doing these videos uh, and I tried it out and I was impressed enough with it that I thought it was something I'd, I'd like to share with you guys. Uh, it is a spray mist cooling device called appropriately cool mist. So as we all know friction creates heat. Now when you're running a grinder heat builds up in whatever it is that you're grinding, knife blades especially, and this can cause problems in a couple of different ways. Now first, uh, if you're finished grinding a heat treated part, if you overheat that part, and, and you know the classic thing is the overheating the uh, edge of a knife blade, uh, when it overheats, it destroys the temper, ruins the uh, hardness of the edge, and you're pretty much back to square one with your knife. Second issue is when you're grinding anything, it can just get so hot that you, that you can't even hold it in your hand. Now the traditional approach knife makers use is to keep a bucket of water by the grinder to dunk the blade or part into as you grind to cool it down. This works fine, but it means you're constantly going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, bending over to cool your tool wastes time and it can be uncomfortable the 80th time you lean over to wet down that blade. So the classic flood coolant type systems that are used on machine tools like lathes and mills where you're just pumping in a huge amount of coolant at a time, that's just not going to work on a grinder because the grinder as, it, as the belt goes around is just going to sling all that liquid all over the room. So something else has to come into the picture. So if you're familiar with machine tools, you've probably seen little spray mist devices uh, used on lathes and mills and things like that uh, in place of the old fashioned uh, flood coolant uh, device. Um, but recently knife makers have been using these same kinds of little uh, spray mist coolants, uh, coolant systems on their grinders. Um, and that's what I'm going to be showing you here. Basically, the device just blows a little cool mist spray as you work, cooling whatever you're grinding and making it more or less unnecessary to bend over and dunk it in the bucket every few seconds. Um, or that's the theory. So, does it work? We'll find out. The device is marketed under the name Cool Mist. Mine came from Travers Machine in South Carolina, but I'm sure they're sold from plenty of other places. Pretty simple gizmo. You've got a siphon that goes into your coolant reservoir, an air hose that leads to a compressor, a little valve body with a screw that lets you vary the airflow, and a nozzle on the end of a flexible gooseneck. There's a sturdy magnet on the back that lets you mount it on your machine, moving it to wherever it's convenient for whatever you're working on. Add a grinding table or need to grind in a different position, no problem, just move the valve unit to a different location or twist that little gooseneck around. The kit also comes with a couple bottles of coolant liquid which is mixed with water. In order to get mine in operation I had to run a 50 foot air hose across my shop. I have a compressor already so that expense was not required. If you don't have a compressor though in addition to the unit itself you'll need to plunk down several hundred bucks for a compressor. The good news is that it doesn't require a ton of air, so even a fairly small compressor should be able to supply enough air. I also had to construct this high-tech reservoir. Five gallon bucket from Lowe's, lid, stab a hole in the lid with a knife, done. Some of you may find the last mod a little tricky, but for a mechanical genius like myself, it's as easy as uh, stabbing a hole in the lid of a paint bucket. When I first received my Cool Mist rig, it didn't work. The siphon hose was blocked and I had to send it back for a replacement. That doesn't say much for Cool Mist's quality control because this is not exactly a massively complex machine. But hey, all's well that ends well. Got great service from Travers Machine. In a couple days my replacement reached me and I was back in business. Putting aside the malfunction, the Cool Mist unit seems fairly well built. The magnets are strong so the valve unit doesn't walk around under vibration and adjustment of the unit with the little thumb screw is smooth and easy. How does it work? 
real simple. Just mount it somewhere convenient on your grinder, turn on the compressor, back this little screw out of turn, and you're off to the races. Also, the nozzle adjusts to vary the spray. You would think with it pumping out water like this, that water would stick to the belt and it would sling water all over and all that. Well, it really doesn't do that. The mist seems to be fine enough and is produced in small enough quantities that while there's a little water puddling up near it, as a general rule, it's not slinging a bunch of gunk off of the belt. So we finally get around to addressing the most important question about this, does it work? Well, simple answer, yes it does. Uh, I was able to finish grind this knife, uh, which you might recognize from my charcoal heat treating video, uh, without it ever getting hot, and that is really significant. As you can see, I'm just grinding and grinding and grinding, and it never gets hot enough to damage the blade or force me to dunk it in the water. In fact, if it starts getting a little hot, you can just direct the spray right at the hot spot, and it cools down in a second or two. It's also fantastic for small parts fittings, bolsters, pins, guards, things of that nature. I use a grinder to rough out small copper fittings called hibakis that act as a little collar on Japanese swords. Copper conducts heat like crazy and the parts are really small so they just heat up really fast. I mean two or three seconds literally and you gotta dunk it down in the bucket. So it's sort of grind a little bit then into the bucket grind into the bucket burn your fingers drop it curse it a little bit pick it up in the bucket you know it's kind of a pain in the neck making these things cool mist just completely takes the finger burning dropping cursing all that stuff out of the equation and as a result i probably saved a good 15 minutes of grinding on this little sucker i mean maybe even a, a bit more than that A side benefit of the unit is that it decreases the amount of dust thrown into the air by the grinder. This is particularly nice for grinding things, G10, fiberglass, things like that, that throw off really nasty dust. Now you won't be able to use this for grinding wood handles or you know other things that get damaged by water, but it'll be great for grinding handles with synthetic handle scales, micarta, G10, that sort of thing. One of the things that really slows down handle grinding is that if you're using metal pins, they tend to heat up rapidly to a point where they can cause you to burn off your epoxy. Not this way. Now, are there trade-offs? Yep, no matter what they say, it is messy. I don't normally wear an apron in my shop because I dress like crap. You know, I'm one of those guys where fashion comes to die, but even for a guy like me, this would throw off excessive amounts of moisture on my clothes. You know, you just get kind of wet and clammy. So you gotta wear an apron. That said, it's not as messy as you might expect. Like I said, it doesn't sling liquid off the belt into your face or onto the wall behind the grinder. It, it does throw a little bit under the grinder. But all in all, not too bad. Also, it makes getting started grinding a little bit more of a hassle. Not only do I have to grab the respirator and the safety glasses like I always do, but I have to put on an apron, fire up the compressor, possibly swap out the hose to my compressor, adjust the nozzle, adjust the spray. You know, it's, it's a lot of little things, but it adds up. If you're grinding, you know, 20 knives at a time, that's no big deal. But if you're doing one-off knives like I typically do, where you're going back and forth from the grinder to other tasks, this is a hassle. More hassle equals more time. Time is money, you know, you can see why you'd want to avoid it sometimes. Another point, and this was kind of unexpected to me, the spray buffets your work, making it difficult to control when you put the blade onto the belt. If you're blasting away, roughing something out, you know, this is not an issue. But if you're doing some fine grinding work, detail stuff, finishing a blade, whatever, this can cause you to kind of crash the blade into the belt, and that'll just completely mess up your job. Now you can get around this by kissing the blade to the belt well below the spray and then moving it up, but this takes a little practice. Another side benefit of the spray is that it can be used on other equipment in the shop. If you have a lathe or a mill or even a drill press that doesn't have flood coolant set up, you can move this unit over to another tool and get some extra mileage out of it. Now, am I going to go to this trouble? I kind of doubt it. If I did lots and lots of milling, I'd have a dedicated coolant unit already and probably a better mill to begin with. But, hey, 
the options there if you need it. So bottom line, useful, absolutely. Will I use it all the time? Will I use it for rough grinding where I'm not really worried about blowing the temper in my steel? Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see. I think it's one of those things where the hassle factor is a little bit of a, a barrier that you have to jump over. You need to be doing enough grinding at a time for it to make sense to hook all the things up and turn it on and put your apron on and all that sort of thing. Uh, but the ability to just lay a blade on the belt and finish grind to my heart's content without ever having to take it off the belt, that is really, really nice. Frankly, kind of a game changer. Normally, you really have to pussyfoot around when you're finished grinding, and this wastes just an enormous amount of time. So, watch me again here. Just grinding, grinding, still grinding. You can just go as long as you want, and you never hit the bucket. So, the cool thing is, you know, you're not just saving time not having to interrupt yourself constantly and bend over and dunk the knife down in the bucket but you can also grind more aggressively on finished grinding so you add those two together it's a win in both directions really really great so thanks greg this one's a keeper thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it here are a couple of other videos that you might be interested in also, like me on Facebook at Walter Sorrels Blades and check out my website, waltersorrelsblades.com, where you'll find examples of my work along with instructional videos showing all aspects of Japanese sword making, including forging and polishing, how to make hamones, and how to make fittings, scabbards, and handles for Japanese swords.